The unwritten rules of choosing a Halloween costume. Ah, Halloween. A time for you to take off the mask you usually wear and put on a different one that nobody knows is actually your true face. Some people don't dress up for Halloween. You don't want to be one of them. It's a well-known fact. Dressing up makes you more attractive, especially if the other person is wearing beer goggle. Your first step is to choose a style. Think about what kind of person you are. Some people want to be the life of the party, while others prefer a quieter experience, thinking deep philosophical thoughts about costume ethics. Many people prefer to wear a classic costume. Options include the king of not moisturizing, bloody spaghetti eater, a cat, and the world's most popular mime. Remember, you don't want to show up in the same costume as someone else, or you could be bound to that person for life. That's what happened here. The next step is to decide how sexy you want to be. Some people go straight for the maximum, while other people keep it toned down. Whichever way you go, do not try to make a normal costume into a sexy costume after the fact, or any costume into a desperate costume. The key question to ask yourself is: Is this something no one would ever want to see? You must also decide if your costume is going to be ironic. Some people thrive on letting others know they're being ironic, which is itself a form of irony, and therefore super ironic, like your handlebar mustache getting caught in the spokes of your fixie. Other times, it's hard to tell if the person is doing that on purpose, so it's important to be clear about when you're being ironic. Otherwise, people will just think that's you, and who knows? Maybe it should be. You can also opt for a classic scary costume. Sometimes the scariness is built into the costume. Other times it's all in your attitude. If you go this route, be sure to drop the act every now and then. Being too scary could get you uninvited from next year's party. Now that you've chosen a good one, the next step is to acquire a costume. It's always the most fun to make the costume yourself. This works best if you have some degree of sewing skills or natural deformities. Failing that, you could go to a specialty store and purchase a mask. Just be aware the best masks are paid for with your soul. In the end, the best costume is whichever one lets you have fun, whether you've worked on it meticulously for weeks or mere seconds. You can now let your inner weirdo out to play in all of its demented, creepy glory. You don't have to be a super genius to come up with a costume idea. You don't even have to be sane. So just reach deep inside yourself to find that unique inspiration that only you could have, and then go buy something cheap at the store. Doodaloo, doodaloo, do. Hey everybody! Thanks for watching. If you want even more Halloween stuff, I have a blog to share with you, and it's called Confessions of a Halloween Costume Model, and the link is in the description somewhere.、Uh, I'll put it prominently. I promise. Let me know if you're dressing up for Halloween, and if so, what you're dressing up as.